Developing suspense in films is all about establishing a threat and then making the audience wait for that threat to strike. And it's the waiting, the moment of anticipation when the suspense takes hold. It's why so many horror movies establish the killer in the opening sequence. What's your favorite scary movie? The audience needs to feel that, at any moment, something they have seen but don't fully understand could jump out and get you. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. What did you say? I want to know who I'm talking to. That's not what you said. So let's take a look at how some of the masters of suspense have done this. In this scene from Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, the audience has already been shown the threat earlier on. Birds are attacking people. We don't know why. We never know why. It doesn't matter. Any bird is a potential threat, and lots of them together spell disaster. In this scene, we see Tippi Hedren. The main edit that is used is cross-cutting. Hitchcock establishes a natural rhythm of short shots of the birds and a short shot of Tippi Hedren. Through a series of shots, we cut back and forth between her smoking a cigarette and the birds on the climbing frame. She smokes. Some birds arrive. She smokes some more. Some more birds arrive. We get used to the rhythm. Then he breaks it. We linger on Tippy Hedron for way too long. We have no idea what is going on with the birds, but we can guess. The creepy singing of the choir gets gradually faster and faster and faster. This is the moment of suspense. We know they are gathering. We just don't know how many. And then, finally, the cutback. Now she sees. Now she realizes the full extent of her own danger. And she is still in danger. This isn't the sudden jump scare of a cheap horror film. This fear is earned. Which is why it stays with us for longer. All right, children, now please put your songbooks away and then stand up alongside your desks and we'll go out and recess as soon as everybody gets ready. The moment of anticipation is something that Steven Spielberg took a lot from Hitchcock's films. As we can see in his 1975 breakthrough movie, Jaws. And as with the birds, the threat has been established in the opening to the film. There's a shark out there. It's big. If you're in the water, you're pretty much in harm's way. And these guys have gone out to catch it. 12 minutes, south southeast now, full throttle. Aye, aye, sir. Arr, Jim boy, arr. The framing of this shot puts the fishing reel large and in the foreground. We know it's going to be important. We cross cut between the shot of the line playing in the water and Quint getting ready. Quint's movements are slow, deliberate. We are never told it, but we pick up on how quiet he's trying to be, so as not to scare the fish off. Something is on the bait. We can guess what. We see Quint slowly and deliberately hook himself into the rod. First one side, then the other. Quint sets his feet in the footplate. Everything he's done communicates the size and power of the fish he's expecting to catch. And then... Hey! This. I got it! 
and the moment is over. But our tensions are ramped up, ready for the next encounter. It's not just older directors who use cross-cutting to build up suspense. In David Robert Mitchell's It Follows, the threat is established early on. There is an entity. It can take any human form. It could look like someone you know, or it could be a stranger in a crowd. And it's coming for you. Whatever helps it get close to you. But only the person who it's coming for, and the audience of the film, can see it. That means, until another character reacts to a person, anyone could be the entity. To say, I am Lazarus, come from the dead, come back to tell you all, I shall tell you all. In this sequence, the teens have fled to the lake to keep Jamie safe from the entity. We see this person enter the frame. Can anyone else see them? The eye lines here say maybe, but no. He's just looking at her. We cut back to Jamie. This person is still very small, very far away. Surely they're no threat. Surely someone else will see them. We cut between the other teens. No one seems to react to this stranger. Jamie has her back to this stranger. Surely one of her friends will see this new girl? Unless they can't. You guys should get in the water. This framing shift allows the new girl to get much closer than we could see in the other shot. Somebody can see her and will say hello to her. Any minute. Now. Oh, oh my God. Help me. Jay, what is Terrifying. It? Help! So remember, if you want to build suspense, you just need three things. Establish the threat early on. Make the audience wait to see that threat again. And use cross-cutting to draw the moment out as long as you can.